welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. I hope everyone is doing really well today. Thank you for joining me for this, my last voice Christmas voiceover video. I've pretty much gone through everything else that I created last year in this little series. And I saved kind of the best for last, in my opinion, anyway. This is one of my favorite features. This fireplace is one of my favorite features in the house. One of the reasons we built this particular home. And I love that it's such a focal point. Between this and then the staircase, I just love this part of the house. So when we moved in here, I wanted to kind of recreate the wheel. And so that's what I did last year. It took me a while to gather my thoughts and to figure out what I wanted to do because for years and years, and I'm talking decades, I used snowmen and only snowmen. But last year I wanted to try to decorate in a more grown up way, for lack of a better way of putting that. So I chose a really big pine spray and really pretty candlesticks luminary candles and I'll tell you how I brought it all together through pictures and through my words. I'll also talk about the cozy corners that you've already heard a little bit about but I'll go through each little section and show you a little bit more in more detail of what it is. And let me just take this moment to say Merry Christmas to every single one of you guys out there. A big thank you for helping my little channel grow here. I only started it back at the beginning of October and my gracious, it has really grown and I've had a lot of likes, some dislikes too. <laughs> uh, but more likes certainly than dislikes and I'm not gonna let those get dislikes get to me. <laughs> so thank you all so much for your support. And I hope I'm able to continue to bring you videos to give you some ideas for your own decorating in your own home. Anyway, I'm off to the voiceover part and I'll be talking to you in just a minute. Bye-bye. In years past, I've decorated with snowmen and only snowmen. But in this new house, I wanted to do a little something different. I still wanted to use some snowmen, but I also wanted to incorporate a more sophisticated yet rustic design. Now I know that sounds a bit confused and convoluted, but I think you'll see that I managed to pull the old and the new, the rustic and the shiny into my own created design, one for which I'm quite happy. I didn't recreate the entire wheel, so to speak, only part of it. So let me show you around my fireplace highlighting the mantle and hearth and explaining how I pulled my aforementioned confused and convoluted ideas together into one comprehensive design. That gorgeous lit garland and those candle rings came from Grandin Road and yes they were a bit pricey but I had a coupon and free shipping so in the end they weren't all that expensive. I did add some red berry stems throughout the garland and candle rings. The gold mercury glass candlesticks are quite tall and very sturdy. Two are 14 and a half inches tall and the other two are 13 and a half inches tall. I purchased them at Hobby Lobby for half off. The candles are luminara candles. They are three and a half inches by nine inches and yes they were rather pricey. Although we got them off of Amazon.com for a better price than the luminara site offers. It is worth a search around the internet for the best price. They are amazing. I turned them on and off with a remote that came with them. If I chose to, I could set the timers to come on for five hours in the evenings and they'd automatically turn off. Those grapevine reindeer also came from Hobby Lobby for 50% off. They have fantastic sales on their seasonal stuff, by the way. I made two bows out of burgundy plaid wired ribbon and placed them on either side of the mantle. I used the same ribbon for them as I did for the staircase decor. I purchased the nativity scene at Hobby Lobby for half off of $80. I love it because it mimics my willow tree angels and it completes the feel that I was trying to accomplish on the mantle. Speaking of willow tree angels, I filled in a few empty spaces with some of my favorite figurines. 
Our daughters regularly get me these pretty angels for Christmas each year. Now, down to the hearth. Well, that really presented me with another challenge because, as I mentioned above, I didn't want to recreate the entire wheel. But in past years, decorations were all snowmen. So I did purchase a few things. Starting on the left-hand side of the hearth, I simply leaned a snowman picture in the crook of the window, and moving sideways, I added a sweet little candle floor lantern that I had wrapped in pine garland and a wooden snowman. Then I moved onto the hearth, working from back to front and then to the right toward the center. I wrapped that little rustic ladder with a pipberry garland on which I had wrapped a 15-count light strand. I sat a little stuffed snowman on one of the rungs of the ladder and sat that burlap Christmas tree in front of and beside the ladder and added a rustic looking snowman for interest. See that grapevine and white angel? I wanted her to stand up higher in the back to add interest. So I used a burgundy and cream colored country napkin and covered a box for her to stand upon. I made the lantern decor utilizing the ornament garland that I had left over from doing the staircase and ornament garland. I added a couple of glittering reindeer and a wooded snowman that is just like the one that is up on the wreath on the mirror. Here is the right hand side of the hearth. I've treated this space like two cohesive cozy corners. One of the said corners starts beside the TV credenza and it continues over to where the hearth begins. It consists of one of Chris's surround sound speakers with my basket and sled centerpiece sitting on top. I worked to the left from there, adding a standalone lantern, again wrapped with pine garland, then filled the middle space with a tall black candlestick that is sitting on a little red stool, and then moved forward. I finished off the design by placing a tall wooden snowman on one side of that speaker and a little lit basket on top of another red stool right in the middle. I then moved over to the hearth to make up the other corner. I made the crock decor simply by loading it up with filler, i.e. whatever I can find that will take up room but not be seen. Then I added a pipberry garland and stuck that on top. I took another pipberry garland and wrapped it around a rustic ladder that stays in that crock all year round. I then added a mini light string around the ladder garland and I trailed it on down and into the crock. I laid it on top of the pipberry garland. I stuck a big metal star in at an angle and added some gold berry beads. To finish, I perched a snowman on the crock and another more rustic looking fellow up on the ladder. I built the rest of the grouping from the back to the front, moving toward the center of the hearth. Tallest to shortest, adding the burgundy candlestick and candle, angel, another wooden snowman that matches the one in the wreath on the mirror and the one that I had placed beside the lantern on the other side of the hearth. I scattered cream-colored metal stars around the entire hearth to help pull everything together. I am in love with the finished product and am quite pleased that it all came together so nicely. I wanted to mix the fancy gold mercury glass candle holders with more woodland type accents and trust me, several options were thought of, then discarded, reworked, and a new design was conjured up. Eventually, this design came to fruition and I'm quite satisfied and happy with the result. All right, that does it for my Christmas voiceover series. Next up, after Christmas, I will be bringing you all along as I switch this house back over to my regular, more generic country decor. I will be making voiceover videos as well as real-time tutorials. I'm like the Energizer Bunny. I truly do not ever stop, but I figure as long as I'm working my brain to create and my body to bring said creations to fruition, I'm doing okay. In closing, one little saying that rings so true to me and is also something that I place at the end of every crafting blog that I write is, there are no mistakes in crafting, only unique creations. Gracie, Samson, Sophie, and I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy and Healthy New Year. Until next time, y'all take good care. Bye-bye.